Okay, so you might notice your vacuum making a suction sound or a laboring sound. You also might notice some decreased airflow coming out of the front right there. And when you go to pull this hose off, it's going to be pretty difficult to pull that off. Okay, once you do pull it off, the uh, motor returns to a normal sound. Okay, the airflow comes back in the front, um, put it back, and the, uh, the laboring sound comes back. So I'd say something's clogged, but there are some other things that you should check anyway. There are some filters here, so just take the canister off. Okay, there's two filters here. There's one here. This one can be washed with a water hose. Now, if you do wash it, I recommend letting it dry completely so that you don't wind up pulling mo uh, moisture into the motor. Or you can take compressed air and blow it out real good. Just uh, be careful with the compressed air not to damage the filter. And there's another filter here, and I believe this one can be washed, uh, but also blown out with compressed air. Neither one of those are causing our problem. Here's another filter here, a third one. This one can either be washed or blown out either way. If you do wash it, uh, like I said before, let it dry. That's not our issue either. There's another filter right here that you can try. And um, this one's pretty dirty on the other side. This one I do not recommend washing with water, but you can blow this one out with an air compressor if you're careful. None of these are causing the problem. And let me show you where the real problem is. The real problem is right here in this arch. The dirt does tend to get stuck right there if you've uh, vacuumed up something that ha hangs up right there. Okay, I've got the vacuum back on. Not much suction coming from right there, so the, the, the clog is in that hose somewhere, not from down there, because I can look down through there and see that it's clear. So if I look down right there, I can actually see the clog. Um, it's not showing up on the camera because it's dark. Now, if that was straight, I could push a broom handle up through there, but it's not straight, so I'm going to need something different uh, than a broom handle. All right. What I've got here is um, an air compressor with a uh, blow nozzle on there, and now I've extended the blow nozzle because the, uh, the end of the blow nozzle is too big to go up inside the hose. Okay, so I'm going to use this. If you don't have an air compressor, you can probably uh, push water through there and that water will, uh, will push that clog out of the hose. But if you do that, make sure to let it dry. Uh, but we do have a uh, air compressor available to us, so we're going we're gonna to do that. All right. I'm going to turn the, uh, the end of the nozzle around so all that dirt doesn't wind up in the garage. Okay. And let's give it give it a try. All right. Oh yeah, there goes the clog right there. And the end of my hose flew off too, as you can see. All right. Um let's uh we're going to we're going to give it another uh another shot of air to make sure it's clear. Okay, it's clear. No problem. Good. So one other area right here that you need to check is this. There's a hose right here that can get uh, clogged up from time to time. All right. A lot of these vacuums have um, a quarter turn, you know, plastic screw that you can undo to take that cover off of there. This one does have a uh, cover on the other side, like a hood that you can flip up to get to the beater bar. But it, it, you still can't get to that um, suction hose that's right there in that joint. So we're going to blow this one out too. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just blow the rest of that out pretty good right there. Make sure it's clear. We put it back together. And everything's working like a champ. The hose comes right off like it's supposed to. Beautiful. Good airflow coming out of the front. All right, and here's a wad of the, uh, the junk that flew out of the, um, the hose. So there you have it. All right, very easy to unclog this vacuum. Thanks for watching.